welcome YC 2023 Federal Mathematics Question 11A of the Session B. So if the root of 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0 are alpha and beta. So we have to find the equation whose root will now be alpha cube and beta cube. So right away for us to be able to get into the cube, we need to know the sum of the root and the product of the root. All right. So let's just rewrite our 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. If we mirror this, if you compare with our ax squared bx plus c equals 0, we are comparing with the general equation. What happened? Your a will be the coefficient in front. Your b will be the coefficient here. And your c will be the negative 5. So we are aware that in this aspect, if you are asked to find the sum of the root, we know sum of root, which in this case will be the alpha plus beta is given by negative c over a negative b over a that's the sum of it so in this case our alpha plus beta is going to be the negative b b is here so negative 4 a and a is what 3 so that is the sum of the root negative 4 over 3 all right then let's also find the product of root meaning alpha times beta which is also given by c divided by a so in that case our alpha times beta will be equal to c which in this case is negative 5 a which is still what 3 so now we know the sum of the root we know also the product of the root this was what was used to generate this very equation so for us to be able to generate another equation in this form using the cube of the alpha and beta, we also need to know the relationship between the cube of root. As in, we know alpha cube, beta cube. That is going to be the new sum. Because this and this is what we are adding to find the sum. Then we multiply them to find their product. So this becomes the new sum. And what is the expansion for this? This is going to be alpha plus beta all to the power 3 minus 3 alpha beta plus alpha plus beta. All right. If you have the cube, at the sum of the cube, it becomes alpha plus beta. That is their sum to the power 3 minus 3 times the product times the sum. So in this case, I can see A alpha plus beta sitting in here, alpha plus beta as this. Then alpha times beta is also known as what? Negative 5 on 3. So I only do substitution in this case. I'll be having the alpha plus beta as negative 4 on 3 or to the power 3 in that bracket then minus 3 into bracket the product which is going to be negative 5 on 3 from here then that will be multiplying the sum which is still negative 4 on 3 just by substitution so let's perform the simplification and see this is going to be minus 4 cube divided by 3 cube and we know since the power is an odd number your negative number will still be there so if you have the cube of 4 you get 64 meaning this becomes negative 64 the cube of 3 will be 27 minus this will cancel this or 3 times 5 will be 15. 15 divided by 3 will still give us what? The 5. But this is going to be the negative as in negative 5 multiplying the negative 
four. This negative will be there. So negative, negative become what? Positive. So that will give us our 20 as positive. This cancel with this. We are left with only three. So this becomes a fraction we can easily simplify. So how do we do that? We know the LCM could be 27. If I like, I will multiply the top and down by a number. That will make this become the same as 27. So I can have... Okay, let me just take the LCM. 27 goes here 1. So minus 6, 4. This goes here 9. 9 to 18 times 10. 180. So let's perform that subtraction. If you add 20 to this, you get 200. Then 44. Still negative. Divided by 27. So this becomes the sum of the new root. Then let's also find the product. The product simply means we are finding the alpha cube times beta cube. And if you are doing this under indices, if you have a, b, or to the power 3, you can separate the powers on each of the terms. So it means that since we can separate, we can still group them in this form. As in alpha, beta, or to the power 3. So in the bracket, you'll be seeing the product of root, which will still be negative 5 on 3. Then your cube will now follow. Believe you get that part? This is expanded from indices. So now, let's perform that. This is still negative. So I expect my numerator to be negative as well. So negative, the cube of 5, I believe that will be 125. So 125, the cube of 3 will still remain 27. So now the sum of root is known. The product of root is known. So how do you find the equation of the new equation of the, the root that we have been given. So the equation the new equation is always given by x squared minus sum of root multiplied by x plus product of root. Don't forget, we are referring to the new equation. So the sum of the root of the new cubes, then the product of the root of the, the new cube, all this equals zero. So let me just write this. Product of root equals to zero, since it's a quadratic equation. So from here, we just do substitution. So your x squared will be untouched minus the sum of root, which in this case is going to mean negative 244 divided by 27 times x plus the next, which is the product, negative 125 divided by, I think, 27, all equals to zero. So now don't forget, this negative will have effect on this. This negative will have effect on this. Since I'm going to open this bracket, the x will only multiply the numerator. So this becomes x squared plus 244x divided by 27. This becomes minus 125 divided by 27 equals 0. And this also involves fraction. So let's use the LCM 27 to multiply each of the terms. So if you multiply here by 27, you have 27x squared plus this will cancel to give you 244x minus 27 times this will cancel 125 equals to 0. Because 0 times 27 will still give you what? 20, uh, 0. So this becomes the quadratic equation of alpha cube and beta cube. I believe the concept is clear. If that is true, like, follow, share, and comment. Bye-bye.